Well, the National Association of Realtors, which represents more than a million realty agents, settled a landmark antitrust lawsuit Friday, agreeing to pay $418 million in damages over a four-year period. But the key is that it also agreed to eliminate rules on commissions. Kevin Land's Tom Hansen finds out how this could impact home buyers and sellers and their realtors. Bailey Volk is buying a home. This has got this wide open floor plan, this huge island. Like most buyers, she hired a real estate agent to help navigate what will be the biggest purchase of her life so far. She chose Jackie Fisher. I'm a first time home buyer and I knew very little about the process, so having somebody in my corner to help was necessary. The settlement agreed to by the National Association of Realtors means 6% commission will no longer be the standard. What some people may not understand, it has always been negotiable. While some national real estate experts are touting big changes for buyers and sellers, Fisher says she doesn't see it that way. South Dakota has what's called a buyer agency agreement, and we have always been transparent about what we are getting paid, how we're getting paid, and who's paying it. It's one of the first things that we discuss with our buyers when we get ready to start working with them. It's not something new to us necessarily. There are other parts of the country that do not require such document. Brandon Martin says the changes mean sellers can save save money in the commission to the buyer's agent, but that could limit the seller's pool of available buyers. So there is a trade-off. So is this a huge shift? Is this settlement or lawsuit a huge shift? Um, I don't think it's a huge shift. It deals with us doing a better job and really presenting our value and making sure people realize how important we are to that process, um, that it's not always easy, and that I can tell you for sure. Both Fisher and Martin say realtors may have to step up their game when it comes to explaining their value to potential clients. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. The settlement deal has one final hurdle to clear. It has to be approved by the courts. The new rules are expected to go into effect in July.